Good evening and welcome to Sports Overtime. As teams travel across Nebraska to the Girls State Basketball Tournament, Lincoln High makes the two-mile trek to Pinnacle Bank Arena. The Lynx playing in prime time at PBA tonight. Class A semifinal between Lincoln High and Millard North. The Lynx enter on a 23-game winning streak. Senior Jalen Brill finds classmate Kiana Wiley cutting to the hoop. Links up 11 at the break. Third quarter, here comes Miller North. Izzy Galligan with the floater. The Mustangs close the gap. They get within five. But Lincoln High turns it on in the fourth quarter. Naya Jock from the corner. She scores 12 points, all from the three-point line. Then Bree Robinson with the crossover. Gets into the lane, finishes with two of her game-high 17 points. Lincoln High pulls away late. Robinson ahead to Devine Harris, to Jock. Lincoln High, they're a big winner tonight. 52-38, the Lynx are heading to the Class A championship game for the first time since 1992. Uh, super surreal. Somebody asked me, is it, is it harder to coach or, or play? And I, it's absolutely harder to coach because sometimes I just can't go out there. Um, but these kids are writing and making their own legacy. This isn't about me. Um, this is just me being obedient to God and um, helping pour back into the lives of young people. So, Lincoln High will face Millard South in the Class A title game. The Patriots roll past Bellevue West tonight. The state final scheduled to start at 6:15 on Saturday. In Class B, tough matchup for York. The Dukes playing top-seeded Elkhorn North, who races out to a double-digit lead within the first few minutes. Laney Portwine gets the Dukes on the board. Then moments later, it's Kirsten Portwine. She made five threes on Thursday. She adds another to her state total. But this game all about Elkhorn North and blue chip recruit Britt Prince. The junior guard goes 11 of 12 from the floor. Prince scores 30. She's been sensational at state. York season ends with a 21 and four record. Thrilling game between Malcolm and three time defending champion from North Bend Central. The Clippers. Lose record setting guard Alyssa Fordick to injury early in the game. Diamond Sedlak picking up the slack. The game is tied at halftime. Caitlin Emanuel, bucket and a foul. The Tigers go in front. They're up double digits, but there's no quit in the Clippers. Hallie Dolliver with the three point play. Then under one minute to go, it's Dolliver for three. Makes it a one point difference. Malcolm gets the ball back and a chance to take the lead, but they can't convert. The Clippers fall and lose a heartbreaker 48. 242. From one down to the wire game to another. Adam Central facing 25-0 Bridgeport. Patriots thinking upset. Adam Central works it to Gracie Weichman. Corner three puts AC up one. Bridgeport with a chance to tie the game in the final seconds. Ruthie Loomis Girdle says let's play on 40-40. The game goes to overtime. Clock ticking in OT. Katie Kimberly, a bench player, rises to the occasion. That's the game winner. Adam Central stuns Bridgeport and advances to the Class C1 final on Saturday. It's crazy. I'm, this is my first year I've actually been off the bench, so making that winning shot is just crazy to me. It's never happened before. If you go look on the film, I had my, my hand up. I knew it was going in as soon as it left her hand. She's, uh, she's been clutch for us all year long in big situations. What an incredible feeling, uh, not only for for, for me personally, but for our kids and our program and our student section and fans, it was it was unreal. That's some good stuff. The Class C2 semifinals. Oakland Craig upsets Crofton 58-39 and Pender is 13 better than GACC. In Class D1, Hastings St. Cecilia was down seven entering the fourth quarter. Avery Kissinger sparks the comeback. The Hawkettes rally to tie it. Under a minute to go, Tatum Krikak at the free throw line. This is for the lead, and she gets it. St. Cecilia makes seven free throws in the final 90 seconds. They're back in the finals for the fifth straight season. On the other side of the bracket, Centura hooking up with Hardington Cedar Catholic. Centura puts together a huge second half. Kyra Wooden, three of her 11 points. She gets three from the outside. Here's how you get them on the inside. Sydney Davis with the bucket at the foul. Centura will play for its first state championship on Saturday. In class D2, St. Francis versus Sacred Heart. They've played in the finals each of the last two years. Tonight in the semis, final minute of regulation. Emma Baumgart, easy two. This game goes to overtime. Off the Sacred Heart miss, Gentry Lechtenberg scores on the putback. Irish have the lead. Ten seconds left. St. Francis, chance to tie. Baumgart blocked by Lechtenberg. Defense wins championships, right? 
Well, they also win semifinals. Sacred Heart 33, St. Francis 29. The nightcap at the Devaney Center. Why not versus Shelton? Bulldogs go high low. Sydney Gag to Emily Berglund. That combo has been so good all season long. Why not though? Hangs on to a halftime lead. Shelton suffers just its second loss of the season. All scores from the state basketball tournament are online at 1011now.com. Coming up, the Huskers head to Iowa for their regular season finale, plus Nebraska baseball facing one of college baseball's elite programs. Sports Overtime, sponsored by York University.